Hey everyone, Chris again with another video. Today is tutorial day. I'm going to be doing a how-to video on how to enable your fingerprint scanner on the US model. So if let's say you purchased your Sony Xperia X Compact from Amazon, from Best Buy, any other retailer here in the US, this is going to be able to enable that fingerprint scanner and not have to worry about OTAs, you don't have to root, you don't have to unlock the bootloader. I'll provide all of the the links for you to download software and if you just follow along this guide you should be in good hands. You don't even have to turn on the debugging, USB debugging mode or anything like that so no need to worry there. What you want to do is actually just go ahead and back up your phone just in case something ever does go wrong. You always just want to have a backup. Um, Sony includes an awesome built-in backup feature which you can back up your applications, the state that the applications are in, um, settings, your home layout, um, your text, things like that. Um, you want to go ahead and just do that real quick. Um, so I've started that already. Um, I've also backed up since I use a Android Wear watch. Um, I went ahead and backed up the watch faces watch faces that I have um, that are in um, Watchmaker. So I backed that up to my SD card. Um, and then I use the SMS um, backup and restore application, which I have it backed up to my um, micro SD card that's built in. Um, just for safekeeping, I like that app because I'm able to upload the file to my Google Drive and be able to restore my texts onto any of my devices that I use, things like that. All right, we're all done. You're gonna go ahead and head over to the flashtool.net site, um, download the software for your OS. Go ahead and run that. You wanna go ahead and just install it at the default directory. That's perfectly fine. And I'm running Windows 7, by the way, if you aren't aware. All right, perfect, done. All right, now we need to go and open our application itself. Go ahead and we wanna run that in administrator mode just so that way there's no issues whatsoever. Let it do its thing on first open. All right, right now it says it's starting your phone detection. All right, we don't have your phone plugged in just yet, so no need to worry there. We're gonna go ahead and click on this icon here, the XF, which is basically um, the Xperi Firm, which is an application that's built into this, which lets you download um, firmware for different devices. So we're gonna wanna go to your Sony Xperia X Compact, the F5321, which is the US model. And we are going to go down to the United Kingdom Customized UK right here. The latest firmware as of this video is 34.2.a.0.266. Then go over here and we're going to click on this available firmware. And it's going to ask us if you want to download this firmware. We're going to go ahead and download. That's going to take um, probably 15 minutes depending on your internet speed. Um, it's going to go ahead and just download everything for that firmware and we'll be right back. Alright, so now we're done with the download. Um, that took maybe about like 8 minutes or so. That was successful. You can go ahead and close out of this and the Xperia firm. Software is up to date. That's something completely different. Um, an FSC script is found, which is what we just downloaded. Um, let's go ahead and just click on yes. So I was going to go ahead and process um, the scripts needed for that. So we're going to let that do its thing. Alright, so that's now currently done. What we're going to need to do is power off your device. And then we need to boot this into the flash mode. So go ahead and have your USB-C cable plugged into your computer. Um, I have it plugged into a USB 3 port, which I've had success using. So no issues there. We're going to wait for that to power down. All right, so what we're gonna need to do is press and hold the volume down button while plugging in your USB-C cable. Keep pressing and holding the volume down. 
and until you see on your device or onto your computer that your flash flash tool recognizes it. So it looks like we actually need to install the drivers for the Sony device. So you can actually be found here, flash tool drivers, flash mode drivers. We're going to go ahead and just select flat, uh, fast boot drivers. Go ahead and install those. Um, install this driver software anyways. Perfect. Done. All right, device is connected in flash mode, so that's good. That means it's recognized um, the device, and we should be good to go. So what we'll need to do next is click on this flash device, the lightning bolt, flash mode, go ahead and click on OK. Here is the firmware that we selected, customized UK. Here's that 34 file there. So now what we're going to just do is click on flash. Um, you don't need to wipe any of the data, so this is not going to wipe um, the data off of your phone, at least it shouldn't. Um, you go ahead and just click on flash itself. It's going to take you through the process. I believe there should be one prompt. Um, and just go ahead and click on yes when that comes up. And after you click on flash, it'll go through its thing. It's going to take about maybe uh, five minutes or so. And once it's done, it says you can then uh, unplug your device. Go ahead and do so, and then just boot your phone up like you normally would. Then your phone will have the fingerprint scanner enabled. All right, it's booted up. Upon first boot, you do have to uh, enter your PIN there. And if since you, if you're in the U.S., you are going to notice after this firmware flash that. Um, and instead of it saying LTE, it's actually going to say 4G instead, um, but I can confirm that band 12 does work, um, so no issues there. You can go down to your version 7.0, we do have the December 1 security patch, and there's that 34.2.a.0.2266. Then we can go here into Oxygen Security, Fingerprint Manager, and here we can see the fingerprints. I've had three so far, and no issues whatsoever. Um, there are different... So yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, definitely feel free to comment down below. I'll go ahead and, like I said, have all the links needed for the software and also the how-to guide originally that I used to do this video. So thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, share this content um, so that way it helps build the, the channel here for more future videos. You'll get notified as well and I will see you on the next one.